Suganda from La Di Da and this over here is Liam. <laughs> this is my seven year old son Liam and today Liam and I are going to show you how to paint this fabulous Pikachu. Okay, so we're going to introduce our viewers to the supply list. So Liam, can you tell everybody what do we have here, bud? A canvas. Okay, so this is our art canvas that's going to come in your kit. And what else is going to come in their kit? The drawn out Pikachu. Right, so we're going to also get this drawn out Pikachu that's on cardstock which you will color and later glue onto your canvas. And then, let's see, what else do we have? What color paints do we have? We have white paint, uh -huh. pink paint, okay. yellow paint, green paint, purple paint, and blue paint. All right. We have two crayons. One is red and one is yellow. We have paint brushes and... Another paintbrush, a thicker paintbrush and a thinner paintbrush. And then most importantly, Liam, what kind of shirt should we be wearing while we're doing any kind of artwork? An uh, art shirt. An art shirt, guys, because these are acrylic paints. And if you get them on your clothes, they won't come out. What happens if we get them on our fingers, though? You, they wash off, but you just have to put a little effort into it. That's right. What we're going to do, buddy, is we're going to take our thick paintbrush. You mm -hmm. see this one? and we're gonna dip it in our blue paint. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna color our entire canvas in blue, okay? Could you do mm -hmm. that? And then remember, while we're painting, we never wanna do scribble scrabble, right? We wanna do long strokes, like we're gently stroking a pet. Long strokes, that's right. And we're gonna, you can go back and forth, that's totally fine. So you're at a pretty good stopping point. Now what we're gonna do is always remember to paint your sides. That gives us more finished look. Liam, how old are you? Seven. Yeah, and do you enjoy Pokemon? Yes. All right, bud, I think you did really good. Look, all your sides are covered and our canvas is covered as well. Oh, one of the things that we forgot to tell our viewers, what should we always do when we are painting? Cover your table or whatever thing that you're using to paint on with paper so it doesn't get on it. Sure, you should always protect your service, surface. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna take a napkin and we're gonna wipe our paintbrush really well so that we get rid of most of our blue paint, okay? And then we're gonna dip our paint in some purple paint right here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna come up at the top. And we're gonna just do these strokes and then we're gonna try to blend into our blue. Good job. You could also take the blue and blend it like that with it. That's very right, true. Liam, I think you did a really good job blending all your colors. Do you see how you created the light blue going into the purple? Yeah. All right. Okay, so our next thing that we're going to do, and there's no right or wrong in this because we are creating an... Ombre. Ombre. And we're also creating an abstract. abstract, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up our brush again. And now we're gonna come in perhaps with a different color. Which color should we start off with? Mm, pink or green. Okay, let's take our green paint and you can start from the top and we're gonna start blending it again. This way? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Just the same so way. Like you're switching it. Right? Absolutely. Okay, 
And one of the cool things that we um, actually forgot to introduce to our viewers is that you're also going to be getting some plain cardstock. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be, or if you don't want to use cardstock, you can also use an old credit card or any kind of thick um, substance. <laughs> thick substance that we're going to use to spread our paint out. All right. So now we're going to maybe try our pink paint. You want to dip your paintbrush in your pink paint. Don't forget to wipe off your brush. Yeah, that's a good idea. And actually, we're going to just use our thin brush at this point, and we're going to just kind of dab a little bit. If, you, if that's not successful, you can also just kind of dab this way. And then look at this. We're going to take our cardstock and like wipe it. And we're going to do a little swipe. And we want to do a gentle swipe because we don't want to take away all of our paint. There you go. And you can kind of spread it out long. There you go. And you can come back. If you have taken away some of the green, you can also come back and do the green again. It's also um, good if you don't use the same side so it doesn't mix. Absolutely. And we have some more cardstock here, so. That's pretty cool. What do you think so far? Yeah. Do you think we should try to do some more purple, maybe? Mm, not really. I think it looks good. All right, how about the yellow? Should we try for the yellow? Yeah. Okay. I thought you were gonna go for the purple. I was gonna introduce the purple. You changed your mind. That's okay. So now we do the same We're gonna do the yellow. same thing, and you can try to put spots somewhere else. Let's make big blobs, though. Drop them in on your canvas. Because remember, this is abstract, right? And you see the texture that's happening already? All right, let's use another. And we're going to do it gentle so we don't scrape up the paint from below. There you go. Oh, there you go. Good job, bud. That's really cool. Try some more. How about we do a little bit more yellow here? And this time, we can come the opposite way. There you go. All right, let's let's do a little bit more swiping. Very cool. Let's clean off our brush. I think some a little purple might be a little fun right up here. What do you think? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Let's dab a little. And again, we're gonna do a gentle swipe so we don't take a paint away from the bottom. That is really cool. I think I like it. What do you think? Do you think we wanna put some more pink or are we good? Um, yeah, a little more pink. A little more pink? All right, it's, let's see. It sort of faded away. Yeah, so I guess that's kind of a personal choice, right? Here we go. I'll help you. All right, that's very cool. And we're gonna gently swipe it again. And we wanna gently swipe it so that we are not removing the paint from the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now here comes the really fun part. Okay, do you remember, we have done this before mm -hmm. at camp at La Dee Da? Yes. And this is called a splatter technique. Oh yeah. Yeah, you might have you might remember an artist called Jackson Pollock, and that was his style of painting. It's an impressionist. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our skinny paintbrush and we're going to dip it in white paint, and I'm gonna show you, and then you come in and do yours. Okay, so we're gonna hold our paintbrush. We're gonna hold it with one hand, and don't worry about these this paint on my fingers, guys. This can be washed very easily with soap and water. Okay, and we're gonna dip it, and then we're gonna go. Flat. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Whoa! Isn't that cool? Hmm. 
definitely should be wearing an art shirt for this one, right? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right. I think we should show our viewers what an amazing abstract canvas you've created. Isn't that fun? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna put this aside now and let it dry and we're gonna come back and color our Pikachu. All right, so I think Liam, now we're going to get the cutout of the Pikachu that also comes with your kit. And what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna color the cheeks red. Okay. And the rest of the body yellow. Okay, let's go for it. All right, Liam. Look at your finished Pikachu. You did a really good job coloring it. Was that hard on your hands? Yes. <laughs> All right, Liam, so guess what? We are ready to glue our Pikachu onto our beautiful canvas. Now that the canvas has had some time to dry. Mm -hmm. All right, so here you go. We've got some um, school glue. You guys can use tape at home or any other kind of glue that you have that your mommy might have in the craft drawer. All right, so let's flip him over and let's put some glue on here, buddy. And you always wanna make sure you put some glue on the sides. And a little bit on his tail. Right here, a little dab over here might be good. That's good, all right. Okay, and are you ready to place him on? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. You wanna help me press, it, press him down? Yeah. Is he straight? All right, let's dab, dab, dab. Oh, I think his tail is kind of off the canvas. Let's move him just a tad bit. The cool thing about school glue is that it dries off clear, so we don't have to worry if we have some on our and we can also just gently wipe it away with a napkin. All right. Here you go, guys. Here is Pikachu canvas. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining us here at La Di Da. And I had a fabulous time here with Liam creating this really fun canvas and I hope you have fun at home as well. And be sure to come grab some more art kits. We're gonna be here through the entire quarantine as long as it lasts. And Liam, would you like to say anything? Mm -hmm. Bye guys. All right, well bye it is. <laughs> <laughs>